and we found a really cool vinyl record store called. So we didn't get to see Mount Rushmore, but we did find a Black Hills vinyl shop. First thing I noticed walking in this record store was that it was clean. Even the pictures on the wall looked like they had been dusted. There wasn't dust anywhere. So the owners of this place keep it very, very clean. A lot of times I go into record stores and there's great selection, but there's like a ton of dust and my sinuses just all uh, give me a start bothering me right away. The organization of the place was very easy to understand where all the records were at. The, there's jazz playing on the record player that had a cool amp going. The the uh, with a turntable, which was cut, was really cool. The owner was there and was actually cleaning records as I was in there. You can, as all the records I bought had brand new inner sleeves. The records all had looked like they'd been clean, and they also had a, a a new vinyl outer sleeve put on with the price tags put right on there. The owner also offered a 10% veterans discount. So that's the first time I've been in a record store and they offered that. So that was pretty neat. This is in uh, South Dakota, so they're near Ellsworth Air, Air Force Base. That means they get a lot of foreign records in. They got like Japanese pressing. So they're getting records in from service members from all over the world. So at first I was like, I didn't expect to see such a wide selection, but, they're, but the selection they have is pretty incredible. I thought you might like to see what we picked up at the Black Hills Final Record Store. First, we picked up a copy of Fog Hat kind of a bluesy rock. Really enjoyed is it Earl Ray on drums on this record. But overall, it's just a fun album to listen to. I put it up, I put it on, and I listened to the whole thing straight through sides A and B. So Fog Hat. This is a fun one. Hypno Love Wheel. Band from 1988. Really enjoyed listening to this. I don't, I don't remember these guys back on the radio. Peter Walsh on the drums on this. Again, it, like I kind of want to say it reminds me of Devo a little bit, but it's that, that's probably not hitting it right. I think some of the music critics say, hey, it sounds like REM, or some of the music critics do say it sounds like REM. I say REM, REM. Uh, I don't know. I, it's it's a little bit different sounding to me. Just it's a it's a neat record. Check it out. Hypno Love Wheel. Them. This one, I was on a road trip, and I've been watching, I wonder if you've been watching, have you been watching the TV show, is a, a session on HBO, there's a, one of the brothers is always, he's having some challenges with his love life, and so, I was on this road trip, and I'm listening to music sometimes, like Four Seasons, and then like mix it up with something like heavy metal-ish, and I, I was going through the record store. I've seen this album before, but I think because I was on the road trip and I had this session movie on my mind, and he had this line in the in the in the TV show about um, we're doing uh, we're doing lines of cocaine off these women who didn't know they were prostitutes yet, and so this made me think of that 1980s, just sort of over the top, uh, over the top, and being in love with making money. So that was kind of what this reminded me of. And I used to listen, I still listen to Scorpions, but not as much as I used to. But definitely when you're on a road trip, like you listen to Four Seasons, listen to something kind of mellow, then you come in with something with the heavy, heavy guitars like, like this record has. I mean, she cannot be enjoying having all that bubblegum on her. She just cannot be liking that. Next one I picked up, we were talking about Angus Young. And so we're talking Angus Young, ACDC. We're talking about Angus Young. We did a deep dive in, on him on one of our ten, on the ten questions series. And as we were talking about him, he if you look at some of his interviews, he always talks about Chuck Berry. And so I went back and looked at how much Chuck Berry I had. And I was like, I saw this Chuck Berry album there, and I was like, let me pick this up. Golden Hits. It's got Johnny B. Good on it. Of course, he does the famous duck walk, and who else? Angus Young does the famous duck walk. So if you're an ACDC fan, this might be a pickup for you. Dakota, and you're near Rapid City, make sure you go check this place out. It's uh, lots of used vinyl in there, and they get a good selection because they're so close to Ellsworth Air Force Base, so they're getting people returning from all over the world with records that are, and they're dropping off their collections from time to time. Last one is I got a sealed. This one is an unopened copy. I don't. I didn't. 
I don't have this on CD, but it's 180 gram vinyl, Depeche Mode, Songs of Faith and Devotion. I really like Depeche Mode. So I saw this, I was like, let me get, I'm gonna pick this up. Uh, one thing I, what this, made, what this made me think of, I saw, I've seen people have the discussion on, on you know, do you pick up the vinyl, do you pick up the CD? One of the, one of the CDs I have, it's actually got the Super Audio CD here. And what's so cool about this Super Audio CD is it, it has, like you normally, if you're listening to like a stereo, when you're listening to a stereo track, you have your two large front speakers. If you happen to have like a big surround, like I have, a, this is down in my uh, audio media room. So I have decent stereo speakers, but I also have really good, uh, I have good, I'll say, I'll say I have good, surround speakers and good rear surround speakers that have really good frequency response. So even if they were my front, they, they would do well as just if you had them just by themselves. And so when you have a Super Audio CD, they have a bunch of different tracks on it and you can you can actually hear, they separate the drum track off a little bit from, from uh, you know, the percussion track might be a little bit separate from say the bass guitar or, or the guitar track. And, and so you get a really immersive listening experience. Not saying it's better than vinyl, but I really enjoy, I really, you can only listen to it if you in this room, I mean, or a room like this, it would make sense. You have the CD, uh, I can rip that and take it with me uh, on road trips. The other band I want to talk about or album I picked up, and you can see my 1.30 in the morning pickup of this one is, this is what I've been listening to, and on this road trip out to South Dakota, I listened to this album a whole bunch, it was Tool, um, it, you can watch me do the unboxing, but this album, and I'm mentioning this in, in, in a somewhat vinyl update because this album, the CD album is so fun. The, uh, the vinyl album is going to come out later, but if you, if you haven't seen an unboxing, go see. There's some amazing unboxings out there. This is just a, is such a, it's a cool interactive album. It has lots of multimedia, and so... Uh, people are talking about some of the reissues that are out there and they're not having some of the all the neat stuff that comes with some of the original vinyl well I think tool I'm excited I'm excited about what they come out with on vinyl as well but I think tool really did a, a phenomenal job for coming out with a hard media that has a lot of artwork the disc is just fun they got this 30 they have this book that's in there and so the whole thing is just an amazing, amazing experience. Plus, I love the percussion on this album. I just, the, the percussion, it, it, I, have a, I have a Basio uh, DVD, and I like watching where you just, where you can, you have like two hours of Basio playing a concert. And listening to this Tool, Tool album really reminds me of that experience and so the the percussion is just it it's first rate in Black Hills vinyl out in Rapid City South Dakota it was a really great record store really enjoyed it really had some great selection there someone had just dropped off a Iron Maiden collection so if you're an Iron Maiden fan and you need some pick up some vinyl I think I have Aces High I think on my in my CD collection they have a ton of Iron Maiden records in there right now so you may want to go give them a call or go go do a trip to to Mount Rushmore and do us and go check out Black Hills vinyl and pick up those Iron Maiden records thanks for watching and I'll see you next time